Greetings everyone, uh, Birdie here again. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience, my, my experiences in the furry fandom as a transgender man. Uh, this will include some transphobic language and discussion of genitalia, so if that's triggering for you, you may want to miss out on this one. Now, I'm going to start this off by saying this is not representative of the furry fandom as a whole, um, just by personal experience. For whatever it's worth, I tend to talk to some of the weirder ones, so there's that. <laughs> I mentioned in a previous video that the furry fandom is very LGBT friendly. There's a decent amount of diversity in orientation, gender identity, uh, gender expression, and lifestyle, and it tends to be reflected in the art produced by the fandom. Now, that said, I was a bit taken aback when, upon learning that I was transgender, a well-meaning furry exclaimed, Oh! So you're a real-life cunt boy! <laughs> yeah, let that sink in for a moment there. This actually has happened more than once, much to my dismay. Um, now, you see, there's also a diversity in interests, um, and in certain part of the parts of the fandom, that includes fetishes and kinks. I'm not saying that it's anywhere near the majority of the fandom, but there are quite a number of fetish communities that have representation in the furry fandom. And despite the large LGBT community, as in any other group of people, ignorance of trans issues is a major issue in the fandom. Now, the term... Cunt boy, alternatively sea boy or vagentleman, is a term used to refer to a male character with a vagina. Now, the word is not used exclusively in the furry fandom, uh, but that's the context I've personally encountered it in. Um, so, most of the time, it's not, it is not used to refer to transgender characters, but to magical intersex characters. Usually the characters are stated to have been born like that uh, and naturally developed with otherwise male bodies, or they may have acquired their equipment through magic later in life. Sometimes these characters can mag magically change their sex on a whim, and those usually have two or more regular forms. There's also a male-to-female equivalent, but I'm not here to talk about that one. I don't feel qualified. Uh, most often these characters belong to cisgender males, and very occasionally, people who are male to female transgender. Some people like it as a fetish thing, and some people just like the concept for one reason or another. There is a very popular sea boy character in the fandom whose creator chose that form because he felt that breasts and penises are the most sexualized human body parts in the fandom, so and I guess in general, so he made a character that had neither of those things. So some female to male guys self-identify as sea boys, but I have no idea what percentage that comprises and I am not among them. Personally, I think it's an it's it's interesting as a as a fantasy concept, but the term is in very bad taste and I worry that it promotes the fetishization of actual transgender people. The furries that used the term to refer to me were familiar with the fantasy concept, but had little or no experience with the actual transgender community. Of course, I explained to them that the term is offensive and why it's offensive, and that they shouldn't use the word to refer to real people unless those people actually actively ask that they do so. They apologized and agreed to revise their vocabulary, so, I mean, that went fairly well, but... The C word <laughs> aside, I've had some interesting reactions in general. This is probably because I talk to a number of people who are very open about their sexuality and their kinks, and probably not things that are exclusive to the furry fandom, I'm pretty sure, and it's like stuff like, oh man, you're so lucky, and I, I, I think this is probably the most uncomfortable one I got. Um, can we trade? I have an Mpreg fetish. It's like... Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I should make one of those shit people say videos. I think that, that might be interesting. So, but 
Despite all this, the furry fandom is still much more accepting and understanding this than society in general in terms of LGBT issues, um, specifically transgender in this context. Um, however, I still think it's important to spread, to spread trans awareness inside and outside the fandom so people can treat each other with appropriate respect. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, see you all next time. Bye-bye.